In an effort to reduce costs for teams, NASCAR has suspended testing in 2009 on its sanctioned tracks for all three of its top divisions and its two regional series. The move includes the preseason Thunder Test sessions held at Daytona International Speedway in January and bans teams from using any NASCAR-sanctioned track for a test. This includes facilities which host a Sprint Cup, Nationwide, Camping World Truck Series, or Camping World East and West Series event. NASCAR President Mike Helton made the official announcement during a press conference at Homestead Miami Speedway. We, we've doing, we're doing this after a good deal of conversation that's been taking place since June regarding testing. Uh, that conversation coupled with the uh, continued turn of economic conditions has led us to uh, this decision that we've announced today. Um, and um, the, the particulars and some of the details regarding this move will be formulated uh, more over the next two or three weeks, but there was an urgency we felt to tell the teams and the industry of the, the general decision to uh, suspend testing uh, before this weekend was complete. Carl Edwards, who trails Jimmy Johnson by 141 points in the Cup Series standings heading into Sunday's Ford 400 finale, applauds NASCAR's decision. I think it's a great move by NASCAR. I think that um, you know, that gives a little bit of relief to the, the teams as far as expenses and, uh, and the team owners. So that, that's a good thing. It'll, it'll make it a little easier on all the guys. I believe competitively. You know, it's just like what Jeff was saying earlier. Um, as long as everyone operates under the same rules, you're going to have nearly the same competition, whether you can test every day of the year or or, um, or not test at all. So I don't think the fans will see any difference. I think it just uh, possibly can make it less expensive for the owners, which is good. Even though he agreed with cutting two weeks of testing out at Daytona, Johnson disagreed on the new policy, especially for the tests at the intermediate tracks. I think I think it's a mistake. I think the teams need a chance to work on their cars, to improve their um, their programs, uh, to put on a better show. Uh, if we had this rule last year, or I'm sorry, the start of this year, with all the development work that needed to be done of this car, not only for the 48 team but the whole series, I don't think we'd be where we are today. Um, I do understand and, and recognize that we need to uh, need to cut expenses. Johnson said he'd like to see NASCAR open the track for testing on Friday during some of the race weekends in 2009. I feel a good compromise of the two would be to allow the teams to run data acquisitions on Friday. Um, we can get it off the cars, we can adjust the schedule and make it work and let the teams have a chance to collect data to make these cars better. Um, it doesn't look like that's the case and now we're, we're going to need to focus on other ways to collect data or to create simulation programs or machines to create on-track activity um, and then test at tracks that may not work and on tires that we won't race on and to try to find a baseline. I mean, it's not going to, it's going to slow things down and make it more expensive and limit some guys, but we still have to get on the track and work. We still have to test and we cannot sit still. Teams will be allowed to test on their own at NASCAR sanctioned tracks in the weekly racing program as well as facilities outside of NASCAR, tracks such as Rockingham Speedway, Virginia International Raceway, New Smyrna Speedway, and Madison International Speedway have already been mentioned as possible test tracks for teams, some of which where teams have already tested. Goodyear will still conduct tire tests at sanctioned tracks, and NASCAR is looking into a fair way to determine the driver selections for those tests. For Racing OneCast, this is Pete Pistoni reporting.